as promised, it's me again, and in the same outfit, because it's the same day, but I'm making another video. Uh, you guys cannot be fooled. So I, last year, made the commitment to do a video after every newsletter I published, so um, I'm a little bit behind. Uh, and, and now it's May, and so I am going to talk about the one that I sent out about neuroplasticity and habit stacking. Um, so, you know, like I said, I'm always trying to get better, do better, be better, and so listening to podcasts, reading books, and that kind of thing. So a patient of mine actually inspired me. He told me about Mel Robbins and High Five in the Mirror, so I started doing High Five in the Mirror looked into Mel Robbins, started watching all of her material, and she also had the five second rule, which I do employ almost every morning. And so there's the high five in the mirror to start your day off right. I think she also uses this in lieu of meditation if you don't have time for that, which I, I love, and I've, I've definitely uh, used that card. Like, if I've woken up late, if I didn't set my three alarms, uh, Hoda, style. Um, I didn't know that we had that in common. I thought that was my idea, but Oda, I think she might've come up with it because she's slightly older than me. But, um, anyway, so Mel Robbins, high five in the mirror from my patient. Um, and then five second rule, which is five, four, three, two, one, get out of bed. Just do it. Just get out of bed. And then what else does she do? Um, high five in the mirror, five second rule, and then looking for hearts and everywhere you go in nature or wherever. So I've been looking for hearts. I found a heart shape in a cream and a creamer, um, spill, uh, that I did myself. Um, I didn't make the heart myself, but you know, um, I spilled the creamer. Um, don't cry over creamer. And, um, let's see what else does she do? Oh, um, she leaves her cell phone in the bathroom or wherever. I don't know, actually, she, I don't know if she's specific about that. Maybe, she, fact check me. But she does not put her cell phone on the nightstand at night. And I started doing that and it kind of changed everything because I have to get myself out of bed before my alarms wake up my daughter. So, um, because I need that time. I apparently need a couple hours in the morning to like do all my stuff and um, laundry, water the plants make her snack for the day, feed my dog. I don't know what I'm doing with that time, but it's gone. Um, by the time I wake her up at seven. Fun fact, she voluntarily said she wanted to wake up at seven to her own alarm. So that's amazing. I mean, there's so many ways, you know, parenting has been difficult because she's my, my kid. So it's going to be a little, um, entertaining. Um, I, I like to think that if I was her aunt, it would be like so much more fun. And I try to employ that mindset instead of feeling like so responsible and more like, I want to be more like a coach or like, you know, guide, um, like not the wine aunt, but sort of, I mean, if I could be, but it's just not working. So I'm rethinking that. Um, so anyway, what I was saying was habit stacking has changed everything. And so I just employ these tips from Mel Robbins who gets, you know, the best research has the best you know, guess and is pretty fun and funny. And I, one thing that I love about her and now I'm rambling, but why I like her so much is that she's a mom too. Like she's a, she's been a working mom. She's had, she has three kids. And so I respect that. Like I, I will take advice from you if you've been through it. Now she hasn't been a single mom, but I think, you know, maybe we're on an even playing field because she has three and I have one and she's got a husband, but you know, maybe so it's, it's all in how you look at it. But, um, Selma Robbins, yeah, I've been really loving what she's been saying. So, um, my main <laughs> focus in that newsletter for the beginning of the year was, you know, don't make a resolution, create some habits, stack them on each other. So then it becomes more of a routine and a flow because I don't know about resolution. I don't know. Like I feel like they're always a letdown. So, um, and there's so much pressure. I, I like building habits and saying that most days I blah, I think two out of seven days, maybe on weekends, 
I wake up at six instead of five. And then I don't usually have time to meditate or pray. So then I definitely make sure I high five myself in the mirror and I, I have been doing that because that takes zero time. Um, so yeah, most days I meditate and pray and every day I have the apple cider vinegar in the morning. And I think what I was trying to do is tell you that change is possible incrementally. Apparently it takes eight weeks or some people say 21 days, but I feel like I, I'm like eight weeks. I, I like that one. I think that's the latest, that's the latest number, um, to build a habit and, and most days, let's just say most days because we're not robots. There is no perfect. And I think that sets us up for success because then we're not expecting so much from ourselves that we get so down when we fail or when we don't do it one day that we just give up the whole thing. And that's what you don't want. You don't want to give up on the change or the habit that you want. Um, you want to just get back into it the next day. So that was uh, the newsletter for, I believe that was February. So um, habit stacking. And I'll, I'll link below to like what I've been watching, um, Atomic Habits, what I've been reading. Um, but basically like sort of make it easy on yourself because the more leeway we give ourselves, actually the more forgiving we are, the more successful we become in these changes. It seems counterproductive. It seems like if we guilt ourselves enough, if we feel bad enough, then we'll be motivated to do it, but actually it has the opposite effect. So yeah, thanks for doing the, with, with, with. Thanks for doing this with me. I'm going to leave that blooper in there. Thanks for doing this with me. I hope this helped and I love you guys. See you soon.